I'm Rob Stavinga. I'm uh, the Watershed Resources Technician at Corther Conservation and today we're going down to the marsh to look at osprey. Osprey are a large hawk and they live primarily around water. Um, that's because they're fish eaters so they eat fish. Um, it's a major part of their diet. Almost 100% of their diet is fish and the way you can identify osprey is they're mostly white on the underside and mostly dark brown on the top and they have a nice stripe right through their yellow eye of brown that uh, goes right to the back so a little bit different than a bald eagle a bald eagles all white on the head ospreys have that dark band right through the eye city of Cortha lakes is a great place to see osprey um, one of the reasons for that is the abundance of water that we have uh, another reason is a group called the Friends of the Osprey in this area has done a great job at providing nesting platforms for osprey. And if you're driving around in the city of Cortha Lakes, you can see those platforms on the water in a lot of different places. There happens to be one directly off the shoreline of Ken Reed Conservation Area in McLaren's Marsh. Um, you can also see them nesting sometimes on areas where there aren't platforms, so on the tops of uh, telephone poles or hydro poles. Um, and their nests are pretty obvious because they're really large stick nests, so they collect dead stick material and they pile it all up until they have a nest that can be a couple of meters high and a couple of meters wide. One of the unique things about osprey is when they're flying they always bend their wings a little bit so you can see the M shape of their wings when they're flying. Um, they also have barbed uh, feet so that they can hang on to fish so the fish don't slide out of their talons and one of their back talons is reversible so they can have two talons facing one way and two talons facing the other so they can clamp onto the fish. And one really cool thing is to be aerodynamic, they always turn the fish so that it's going head first through the air when they're flying, so it doesn't give them as much wind resistance. So an interesting fact about osprey is because they're a relatively long-lived bird and they have a long distance migration, over the course of their entire life, they can log up to 160,000 kilometers. So individuals can do a lot to help osprey. Um, one of the things that causes osprey a lot of problems is fishing line and twine and things like that that gets discarded along the shorelines where people have been fishing or picnicking or whatever. And some of that stuff winds up in the nests of osprey and it gets tangled around their young and they have a hard time untangling themselves so it can cause some of the young to die on the nest. So if we can clean up any of our garbage and any of our fishing line around the shorelines that goes a long way to help osprey.